In my last video, I showed you the absolute essential mods for Need for Speed Underground 1, but without taking things too far, taking artistic liberties, or applying the stuff that really comes down to user preference giving you the best possible base to work from if you want to take things further. So the entire point is that we're taking the base game and bringing it into the modern era with its visuals and quality of life updates, but stopping there. So you can make your own decisions about what other mods you want to apply. I am going to be making videos for all four of the Golden Era Need for Speed games, with Need for Speed Underground 1 already checked off the list. So of course, for this video, we're going to be covering Underground 2. So first up is the widescreen fixes pack, definitely the most foundational one as a bunch of other mods use it as a prerequisite. It's also where you do the basic stuff, like setting your resolution. And of course, this is providing proper anamorphic 16x9. At the same time, it's scaling all of the UI elements to the edge of the screen without stretching them. As you can see for the ini file for this one, you've got the resolution right at the top. And I fully recommend setting a 4K resolution, even if you're on a 1080p monitor and you've got all the HUD scaling options if you want to revert back to 4x3. Now this miss section actually contains some pretty cool options that have nothing to do with widescreen. So we can skip the intro at the beginning of the game, which should save a bunch of time. Aside from that, you can change the windowed mode, left stick dead zone, and there's also various fixes in here that you should definitely be leaving on. But the only other thing I really wanted to showcase here is the improved gamepad support. We can add PlayStation, Xbox, or keyboard icons to those menus, so you actually know what the buttons are. Do keep in mind these any files contain really good descriptions of exactly what all of these options do. So if I've skimmed past anything, just read it and you know what it does. Mod number two is the extra options mod. Definitely another foundational one as it contains a bunch of fixes. And it's not a graphics mod, it's where you change pretty much every single aspect of the gameplay experience. And when I say every aspect, I really mean it. As you can see from the ini file for this one, there's quite a lot of different options. From being able to unlock everything with F5, to lap controllers, opponent controllers, you can change the menu elements, a whole bunch of gameplay stuff, and you can even change the goddamn weather. But whether or not you think you need this or not, you really do, simply for these fixes. Definitely take a look inside this one to see if there's anything that you want to use or adjust. Mod number three is the excellent HD Reflections mod. This completely transforms how the game looks, but in a good way. And it's not using any additional HD textures, it's just using a script to HDFI what's already there. Mod number four is the Extended Input mod. This is providing X input support, it's fixing a bunch of stuff, and it's also pre-mapping all of your controls pretty much exactly how you want them to be. So if you want the best controller support out there and your X input, you really need this. Mod number five are the videos ported from Xbox. The original PC videos were at a terrible resolution, and obviously the Xbox ones were at 640 by 480, which is much, much better. Mod number six is a super simple one, the wide load screen. And this just makes the whole widescreen experience just that little bit more seamless. Mod number seven is an accessibility one, English subtitles fixed. I believe the original game completely omitted subtitles, and this obviously adds them back in. Mod number eight is Scout's UI Remaster. This takes all the menu, UI, and HUD stuff and improves their visuals significantly. A definite must have. Mod number nine is the Unlimiter. Now usually all Unlimiters do is prepare your game for other additional mods, using it as a prerequisite. But with this one, it also contains a bunch of fixes for the base game. Mod number 10 is the Detailed Map. This provides a much higher resolution for all maps in the game and they've been reworked. So you can tell where all of the rows actually go and where all the shortcuts are. Now there are literally hundreds of mods out there for Need for Speed Underground 2. But in terms of bringing the base game up into the modern era with its visuals, quality of life updates and fixes, these are the 10 that you need. Anything beyond this really comes down to personal preference. And I fully recommend that you check this website out just so you can see what's available. There we go, that was the 10 essential mods for Underground 2. And next up, we're gonna be covering Most Wanted. So if you wanna keep up to date with that, you know what to do. And if you liked today's video, slam me a thumbs up. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.